Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to export in DaVinci Resolve 17. And if you're new to our channel, we release weekly videos all about filmmaking. So subscribe to stay up to date with the latest. Okay, so I have this edited video of me on my timeline that I'd like to export. And there are a few different ways that we can do this. I'm currently in the edit tab and I want to create an in and an out point to only export what's within those points. So with my playhead at the beginning of my edit, I'll press I on my keyboard to make an in point. I'll go to the end of the edit with my playhead and press O to make an out point. Next, let's pop up to file. And if you come from a Premiere background like me, you might think that this export option here is what you'll want to select. But nope, this won't export your actual video edit. But what it will do is give you the option to export the timeline file itself. This could be useful if you wanna share your timeline with another editor, for example. But we don't wanna do that right now. We want to export this edit. So again, we'll go up to file and choose quick export, which brings up quick and easy export settings based on your timeline settings. So this video will be exported in H.264. If you're using the paid version of DaVinci, you would also have the option to export in H.265, which can make your exported file size smaller while looking higher quality. As you can see by default, the resolution set to 4K because my timeline's 4K and all of these other settings are based on my timeline settings as well, which is fine if you don't want to customize any. Anything. From here, we'd press export, but first let me show you something else that's pretty cool, which is the ability to also have our exported video directly uploaded to YouTube, Vimeo, or Twitter. To do this, you wanna make sure that your YouTube, Vimeo, or Twitter account is linked to DaVinci. So let's click on the YouTube tab and we can get some of our YouTube settings taken care of right here, like the privacy setting for our video, as well as the playlist, title, description. And we wanna make sure that upload directly to YouTube is checkmarked. Okay, now when we choose to export, we can decide where we'd like a copy of the video to be saved. I like to save mine on my desktop in a designated project folder. And now our video will be exported. And once it finishes exporting, it will also, as you can see, be uploaded to YouTube for us, which is pretty cool and convenient. So that was a look at using quick export. Next, I wanna show you another exporting option that allows you to customize your export settings. So let's check this out by going to the deliver tab and up on the top left side of the screen here under custom, we can name our file where it says location, choose browse to decide where you wanna save your video save. Okay, great. Where it says render, we want the entire edited video exported as one file. So we would keep single clip selected. If we wanted each individual clip to be exported, we would choose individual clips. And I'll quickly show you that. So let's click individual clips and I'll click on add to render queue. Then over here in the render queue tab, we have job one and you can see it includes four clips because I have four clips on my timeline. So we'll click on render all. Cool, our clips are rendering. Now that they're done rendering, I'll pop over to where we saved them and we have each individual clip exported. I'll just close this here. Just wanted to show you that. Now let's go back to our render settings panel and change render to single clip so that we export our edited video. You have lots of customization options that you can adjust depending on your export needs. If I were exporting this video for YouTube, I'd leave most of these settings the same. I would change the quality from automatic to restrict to, and basically the smaller you set this number, the smaller the file size you'll get. For 4K YouTube videos, I choose to set this number to at least 90,000 kilobytes per second. Because in tests I've done, if I set this number lower than that, the quality of the video starts to be compromised. Awesome, and there are some other options that you can customize as well. And if you want me to make a video sharing the best export settings that I use to export YouTube videos, client videos, and Instagram videos, then let me know in the comments below. Okay, and we can select add to render queue. And from here, we could hit render all to export our video. And if we had other timelines we wanted to export, we could also add those to the render queue by going up to this drop down menu, selecting our other timeline if we had another timeline and clicking on add to render queue. So this render queue option allows us to have multiple videos lined up to export, which is awesome because all you gotta do is select these and choose render all because as soon as one's done exporting, the next one will automatically start exporting. And there you go. That's how to export videos in DaVinci Resolve 17. To learn more about filmmaking, check out our over 70 plus other videos on our channel and subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with our weekly video tutorials and we will see you in another video.